Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! It's Friday. It's Flat Top Friday. We got a few shout outs here. Yeah, I'm going to do shout outs again. Why not? Um, happy 41st birthday to Chris Mancata in Boston. Oh, he's from Mancata. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dude. Happy uh, 41st birthday. Thanks for watching. Also, we got, uh, this one was kind of sad. Teddy Stern wrote in, uh, he would watch Guitar of the Day every night with his ailing duck, BB. I uh, just had to put BB down. But we send our condolences. Dogs are the best, and losing dogs is the worst. I feel you, dude. Thanks for watching, though, Teddy. Feel better. Feel better. And then finally, happy third birthday to Calliope. 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 Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. She's been watching Guitar of the Day since she was one year old. Ooh. Two years. Two, Two out of years. three ain't bad. <laughs> By the way, our third anniversary of Guitar of the Day is coming up. 11 26. days. Ooh. 11 days. Thanks, Bob, for reminding us of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Flat Top Friday. We haven't had one of these in a while. It's an old blues guy guitar. You don't like it. Come on back. This is from 1929. It's original Gibson L1 flat top. Original sunburst finish. Oh yeah. That's the Robert Johnson guitar. Whoa, what? That's the old Bob Johnson right there. Oh, Hank, it's the Bob Johnson. <laughs> Mark's got a Bob Johnson. Oh uh, yeah, Robert Johnson played one of these. Or at least we think. We don't really know much about Robert Johnson. We know there's like two photographs, and I'm not sure if they if they know for sure it's him in either one of the pictures. In the one picture, he's holding one of these, which we're not sure if that was his either, or if somebody just handed him that and said, take a picture. It's totally possible as well. But this is the L1 flat top, which is most commonly associated with Robert Johnson. Not the bottom of the line, but kind of midline. So we have the L double O, we have the L O. Now we arrive here at the L one. Um, kind of different dimensions on these guitars, really. Kind of this wide lower bout, sunken waist, and then a very small top bout. We have a spruce top, mahogany back and sides, bound, both top and back. Rosewood board, rosewood bridge, simple dot inlay, no binding, just the silk screen Gibson logo. This one has seen some play as most of these have, these guitars got played. If you can get across the top there, top is kind of sinking a little bit in some spots. There's been some cracks that have been repaired. This thing got played. But if you're into mojo, things like that, oh yeah, this has got oodles and oodles of mojo. Very, very cool. Why don't we go out to the couch? We'll uh, tickle it with the fingers, we'll strum on it a little bit, see what this thing can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1929 Gibson L1 flat top, original sunburst finished. Yeah, it's kind of beat, but we like them beat too. Like so, I'll put it through the paces. Uh, we'll start with the uh, fingers. We'll switch to a flat pick here in just a minute. flat pick. See what this thing can do when we give it a little bit more of the, uh, the chuck of chugs here.
They have 1929 original Gibson L1 flat top. Yo, that's the Bob Johnson. That's the Bob Johnson, man. Original sunburst finish, spruce top, mahogany back and sides, rosewood board and bridge. Kind of beat. Still sounds good, man. Microphones don't care what it looks like. There's your flat top Friday. Follow the store on Instagram at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check these guitars out online, normansrareguitars.com. And of course, come back again tomorrow for one final episode of Guitar of the Day for the Week. We'll see you back then. Peace. Bye. Bob Johnson. It's a Bob. <laughs> you know, Bob Johnson. <laughs>